place like New York, if you can be a stage manager, if you can be an actor, a singer, all the things in the arts, you can get careers out of it. So you can go to any basic school, but it's just one of those moments, third year doing it, that we look forward to, where the students are just really excited about coming to one another's schools, working with the other students in the other M's, and really participating in an event that's really generating an awareness and generating a lot of money for, for a great cause. It does take an incredible amount of time and effort, but we have an amazing team. All three schools have amazing teachers, staff members, coordinators, our SYNC coordinators, our assistant principals, our, our teachers are all here volunteering their time. The hours that they spend after school, before school, on the weekends, it's just an ongoing process. <laughs> We are responsible, along with the help of uh, three great high schools, for putting together Brooklyn Sings. The first year that we did it, the question was, can we do it? The second year was, can we do it again? Now we feel it's really become part of the culture in our community, and I just think the enthusiasm and, and, and the community that shows up tonight, it shows that we've established that we really, we've made something that we know is going to go on year after year. Really for Life is the biggest fundraiser in the entire world for any health issue. We've raised over five billion dollars in the fight against cancer. So any time that we have a big school, a big community get involved with us, it's a really big deal. The end objective is to raise funds and the only way you can do that is by raising awareness and telling people that there's a way they can make a difference in their own communities. See it when you really get to connect one on one with the kids. A kid is in high school for four years, and this is our third year. Some of these kids, we're getting to really get to know them over time, and they've, in a sense, grew up with this. Last night, being here till about 10:30 with the students, and just watching how they cheered each other on, how the advisors supported one another. It wasn't, those are Murrow kids, those are Madison. It's all about Relay for Life. It's about a fundraiser that will probably bring in over $10,000 to support a cause. Where do you even come up with these things? Have you been watching too many shows on Netflix? Well, yes, Eleanor. I have been watching too many shows on Netflix lately. And maybe if you're free sometime, we could, you know, Netflix and chill. Our young adults are in school all year, and we need to make sure that they get their minds are constantly working. It's not only about school sitting and doing homework. They need to get, out, get a break a little bit and be out there and interact with other schools to show that we're all in it together, we're all working together. This year, what we did that was very different than any other year is we had the advisors create the rubric together and look at the rubric and see how to make the playing field pretty even because the kids are from three different focus schools, one being a performing arts school, another being a science, and mine being a run-of-the-mill zoned high school. And they all have different talents to display and it's how can we just make it about the kids and having a great time this evening. That's what these students are learning, is that there's a bigger world around them, and they need to play their role in raising money and awareness for uh, something that's really important. So picture it. I'm on a stage, flashing lights, the crowd screaming my what, what name. <laughs> Last night, with the students here, watching them cheer each other as they performed, 
it, it was worth the entire six, nine, twelve month effort that, that goes into it. Whether it's uh, art, whether it's science, whether it's social studies, we all agree that we want our students today to be well-rounded, college-ready students. And if you never dabble in the arts or in science or social studies, how will you know what you want to be when you get older and you know, move on in the world? Sing is not just about going to a performance, it's about how do you work cooperatively. This and other arts programs are a reason for getting up in the morning, and for many of our students it's a career, but for other students it's just a way to feel that school is an enriching experience. The judges scored the performances in several categories, including their scripts and lyrics, dance, costumes and makeup, and other categories. And with that, I'm pleased to announce the winner of the 2016 3M Sing is Midwood High School! Thanks to Madison for hosting us, and uh, Murrow put on, uh, Madison both put on great shows, so I'm proud of the kids. I'm happy for them. I'm gonna just sing it in any key, okay? You ready? Sing, sing a song, sing out loud, sing out strong, sing of good things, not bad, sing of happy, not sad. No, worry if it's not good enough for anyone else to hear, just sing. Sing a song. La 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 la